Hey guys, it's Dot. Welcome back. Well, I put a video out recently showing this thing. It's my version of a multiple item sorting system that was created using uh, pieces from other YouTubers. And uh, what I was trying to do was to combine all of the uh, neat effects from the different pieces to create a system that was truly automatic, had the ability to sort multiple items in one chest, uh, was incredibly quiet, <coughs> and never left items in the hoppers and droppers that are in the back. Um, I also tossed in the ability to have some bulk storage and a series of chests that we could use for unsortable or unstackable items, as well as overflow items that couldn't fit into one of these chests because they were totally filled already. And this is the system I had come up with, but um, as I was looking at it, I, I had a couple of thoughts that I could tweak it a little bit more and make it even better. Uh, one of the first things I noticed was, in addition to cobble and dirt, there are other things that I usually collect in bulk when I'm playing this game. Uh, sand is one of them, gravel, uh, and netherrack. So I, I had the need for at least five bulk storage units. Um, and then something else I was kind of wondering about was... Uh, you know, this is the end of the line. So in this system, um, we drop our items here, and they literally come through this set of chests, come around the corner through this set of chests, and then anything that can't make it into any of these ends up over in this set. Well, I got to thinking it might be a better idea if the entire thing was to loop back around and end up kind of in the vicinity where it started, especially the overflow items, because those are the ones you're going to want to come in here and reconfigure so that those overflow items could go in here. And then um, something else that a couple of the systems had that I forgot about that I thought was kind of a neat feature uh, was lighting that would allow you to determine where in the system activity was going on. So I wanted to see if I could address that as well. Um, and then lastly, you know, as I was trying to, like, figure out ways of tweaking this thing, and, you know, packing everything in, um, there are places, you know, especially these uh, unstackable items, um, you know, like tools and weapons and stuff. How about just a set of chests that wasn't really part of this system, but that we could organize the way we wanted to for those kinds of an item? So, uh, that being the case, I came up with a new design. This guy. So, in this uh, version, I've got a couple things going on. First of all, you'll notice that I've got one, two, three, four, five modules for sorting items. I noticed in this version back here that I only had three. I, I just didn't have enough spots, enough chests, to be able to store all the kinds of things that I might want to collect. But with five, I have way more than enough. Um, over here is the input chest, but above it, I've got just five extra chests that are just free. They're not connected to anything, and these are the ones where I can get in and, you know, put the unsortable stacking items like the... Um, weapons and the tools and the armor and things along those lines. And then the way this system works is you drop it off here, it attempts to go through all these sortable chests. Then when it gets down to the end here, notice this kind of open over here, um, it kind of goes around back and in between each of these where I have this line of uh, tools, I created, uh, there's actually seven double chests back here for collecting bulk gravel, bulk netherrack, bulk sand, bulk dirt, and bulk cobble. 
and the way it's set up is that it'll constantly feed from one chest into another, into another, into another. So once you get this first double chest filled, it'll start going up. You can see the chest here, and then it just continues to go on up. You only need access to one chest because as you start taking cobble out of here, the cobble above it will automatically filter down and constantly keep this one chest open. And then just like you saw in the uh, green version over there, there are these interim input chests that you can use to bypass a module. And I've even got an input chest over here so that if I know I'm going to come in here with a bunch of unsortable or uh, unstackable items, I can immediately drop them in here and it bypasses the entire system and actually starts to filter in here. And then lastly, I put the lighting in. So the lights on the floor tell us when something is going through one of the sortable modules. The lights up here tell us when there's activity in one of the bulk containers. And the light over here tells us if we are getting overflow or unstackable items. So I thought this was incredibly cool. And then just like the green one, the entire system, including the bulk storage and the unsortable storage, is perfectly silent with uh, no data loss in the sortable items. So because of that, we have the ability to kind of listen to some tunes. You hear that? I'm going to turn that up a little bit because that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, let's jack up that jukebox. Oh, yeah. So now, now you can listen to the nice songs. You don't hear the clicking. And you don't hear the pistons, and you don't hear the water. So I thought that was really cool. Well, I think we could build one of these. So I have created a brand new world that has the uh, bare bones version of this sitting in it, not, this, not the decorations you see here, as well as an empty hole uh, that we can build one of our own. So, in our next video, uh, I'll show you how to build that. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Doc. So, I'm in a new world here. This is a super flat that I made specifically for this project. Um, on one side, I have a completed mechanism that is 100% usable so that you guys can uh, play around with it, inspect it, go into uh, spectator mode, etc. And build this thing. On the other side, I actually have a hole, and um, I want to go into survival mode, but we're going to keep it at peaceful so we don't get uh, attacked. But you're going to be able to see how to put this thing together in survival mode. So basically, when you build this thing, um, you're going to need a certain amount of space. If you're building it on a floor, you're going to need to come down six blocks into your floor and then nine blocks above your floor. And then this hole needs to be uh, 14 blocks deep and then 22 blocks across, okay? It's actually, uh, it's actually 12 by 20, but um, you're gonna need a little bit of extra room up top when it comes time to you know, clean it up and decorate it, so you're gonna want that extra space. So uh, again, here is the sizing you're gonna need to get this thing off the ground. Uh, over here, I've given you some chests. You can kind of see what you're going to need. So if you're a true uh, vanilla Minecrafter playing in survival, you can come over here and check out the contents of these chests, which contain all the uh, most basic raw materials that you're going to need to get a hold of to create everything that this project is going to need. Okay. Over here, uh, I've got two chests. One is for the tools and stuff that we're going to need for doing certain pieces uh, of the project. Uh, for instance, we're going to use uh, the ladders for scaffolding and the dirt for scaffolding as well. Um, we'll take, actually, I'm going to do this. We'll take um, a couple of tools. Actually, I'll get started by maybe taking one of each. Um, 
really, I, I was able to build the entire mechanism with just three stone pickaxes and three stone shovels. Uh, it took a few more to dig out the hole initially, um, but I have information in another file that will tell you that information. Uh, and then from these raw materials, this is what I had to make to put this project together. Okay, so um, it, it appears to be a lot. Uh, you know, what's going to get you are going to be the hoppers and the anvils because of the amount uh, of iron that you're going to need to use. Okay, everything else isn't, isn't too hard to get. So now what I'm going to do, and this is, this is going to be great for me, um, I am going to destroy this one. Okay, This one over here is a perfect duplicate of that one. And like I said, these are not currently programmed items. Uh, before I make the world downloadable, I'm going to program all these chests. I'll put things in the item frame so you can really see what's going on. You can use this guy as an example of how you might want to create your sorting uh, logic as well, or your organization, okay? This, I'm just going to delete, and I'm going to leave you with this hole. So if you want to attempt to build this thing in this hole before you put it in one of your worlds, um, that would be awesome. This makes probably the seventh time I've made one of these, okay? So I've done this a lot. But I wanted to give you some more in here, too. So uh, let me see if I can find out which one is the right one. Over, let's see, this is the, is it this one? Yeah, okay. Um, this is that first one, that, that first concept video that I put together, okay? Um, you know, I couldn't give you a tutorial on that one because I, I, you know, I made this one that was better. But if you like that one, uh, I'm not going to do a tutorial on this, but this is going to be in the world, so you can get in here, you know, and you can... You can get in here and you can see how I did everything and how it all goes together, okay? Um, if you remember, though, I had said that this this uh, piece over here was just kind of thrown together, and I, I wasn't impressed, you know, terribly impressed with putting this together. And it's just, uh, you know, sortable, um, you know, cobble and dirt. And I set this one up exactly the same way that I did in the other one, where I had cobble here and dirt here even though I have places for cobble and dirt bulk storage over here, all right? This one over here is uh, the exact same one, but this one's been uh, finished, okay? Just to kind of give you an idea of what this thing might look like if you put a floor and walls and a ceiling and stuff like that. Um, because this one was finished, I decided to correct it, so uh, I don't have cobble up here, okay? And I don't have dirt here, so you can kind of get a feel for how uh, this one has been uh, structured to, to do its stuff, okay? And then again, down here, I decided to move the bulk storage so they're in line with this one, all right? And then this one over here is your overflow, you know, unstackable stuff over there, okay? And then uh, this is a teardown of this one. So th it's, this is the better one. The version that I enjoyed over here, and it's it's very similar to the one I did over here. Uh, the only difference is that I had taken these and stuck them in between these. You see that? Um, so again, this is this is a mechanism only version of that. Okay. So you'll have uh, a couple different versions to look at. Um, this guy over here is simply a way to to you know make it day all the time and to make sure that uh, uh, you know it never rains in here. So. You can get in here and do whatever you got to do, okay? All right, so, uh, uh, you know, I apologize for the length of this. It's going to be split over probably three episodes. Um, but I hope that you guys find some use of this. Um, this thing is perfect. This thing is perfect. The only thing that I would have loved to have seen added to this is uh, the fact that there was one model that he had the ability to put two items in the chest at the same time, which basically sped the thing up, you know, two times as fast. Um, what helps this model are these input chests. All right, so if you come in and you know you got a bunch of lumber and your lumber is over in this module, you can just skip the beginning and just dump it in this chest, right? So uh, that helps the speed if you're thinking ahead a little bit, right? 
Uh, you gotta jump it into a chest anyway, so you have the choice of figuring out which chest you wanna dump it into. Um, and then you're done. Then you don't have to worry about it. Alright? Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna finish putting this thing together. I'm gonna wrap it up, make it look pretty. Um, finish off this world download. Um, the download will be available the day I release the videos. Okay? So there won't be any more pauses or waits on this. Alright?